All right, everybody. Hey, it's Friday. I know you've seen me twice before today, um, but it's the TED Show, and it's another sidebar episode. This one's uh, so important, much like the last one. I am with Riley Honahan. It's so funny to have Riley Honahan on because I've known her parents, uh, Trevor and Julie, for a very, very long time. Um, so let us know that you can hear us. Mom, can you see us? No, Dad. Okay. Mom's here. We've been having a little technical difficulties here today. So let's see if you can see us. Sonia Schmidt's watching, so that means, Sonia, let us know if you can hear us and see us. That means we've got somebody watching. Trevor's on too. <laughs> so Trevor's dad, Trevor's a fraternity brother of mine, Sigma Chi, uh, Rick Garcia's on. So Riley, I think you are the youngest guest I've had so far. She's 15, a sophomore at Winter Park High School. And Trevor says he's in, I see it. Hey, thanks, Sonia. Thank you guys for letting us know you can hear us. Uh, but she's got such an important message and she's done so much. Uh, this is amazing at 15 what you've accomplished um, and what you're doing. So let's talk about it. You have written a song called Broken. Yes. And it's about bullying, which is such, I mean, there's just so much of that going on. It's rampant. It's it's unfortunately epidemic, and I think that many of us experienced it as kids, or saw it at least, and, but now it's turned into such an epidemic that people are doing some things that we never dreamed of as kids. Uh, it's the basis for a lot of the school yard, school violence, um, people taking their lives, taking other people's lives. So what made you, at such a young age, decide this is what I want to do and talk about? Well, I've had my own experience with bullying, um, and it, it happened last year when I was in ninth grade. Um, it wasn't your typical bullying, it was just a lot of like mean girl action, I guess. And some people don't even realize that the words they, they say can actually hurt somebody like really bad. And I decided that I needed to end this, and I wanted to help other people and just let them know that they're not alone. And the way I did that is in songwriting. That's amazing. So you experienced it. So you're not just talking from somebody else seeing it from the outside in. You experienced it. And that's such a great point. Bullying, you think of bullying, you think you're getting beat up in a schoolyard. At least that's what I used to think. But it is. It's a lot about words. It's about how you're treated, how you're... Um, ostracized, meaning you're taken out of uh, the popular group, the group you want to be in, people give you the cold shoulder. There's a lot of ways where you're bullied and there's also the, the mental torture of it on a daily basis is what really um, wears a lot of people and a lot of kids down and you see that. So you experienced it but most people who experience it just go on, figure out how they're going to deal with it. You decided you wanted to do something about it. Yes, I just I just want people to feel like they're not alone because so many people, they turn to terrible things to try to deal with it. And I feel like um, if they know that somebody else is going through the same thing, that it will make them feel just a little bit better and that can make a big difference. And that's, we do this on the show all the time. That's why I think your message is so important. People need to feel like they're not the only ones going through it. Because when you're going through it, I don't care what it is, whether it's bullying. We have a lot of people on here who've had cancer, who've gone through terrible things in their lives, lost parents, lost children. Um, to, to see that and to be able to share that is so important for people who are going through it. Because again, sometimes you go, there is nobody else who's experiencing this right now, and that's not true. It's not true. So the song, tell them about the song. It's called Broken. It is being released or has been released on iTunes yes. today. You're having the, the launch tonight, which we'll put all of that information on uh, Facebook when we share the post. But talk to them about, you, you, you go through this and then you go, okay, Broken. Is that, is that what you felt? Is that why it you is. came up with the title? Yes. Um, so basically, I wrote the song. Um, a local producer and like filmmaker, he just finished a short film named Amrak, um, which was at a film festival recently. He asked me to write a song about bullying, and this was my experience with it. And I was like, "This is perfect because this is I've been through this." And um, yeah, I just really needed to put it out there. So you put it out there, but it was, um, 
healing for you. Like, so as you're writing the words, you're dealing with some of the emotions that you had to deal with. And as you're going through it, did it at some point go, okay, this is so important for me, for me to be able to move on, to be able to heal? Um, I feel like my way of healing is knowing that I'm helping somebody else. I love that. That's so awesome. me writing the song is helping somebody else. At least I hope so. Do you cry when you perform it? Like I'm about to cry just listening to you and I'm not looking at mom over there because I'm afraid she's going to make me cry. But I, that's just so, I, I want you to know how brave that is what you're doing and what you've done. And not just to write the song, to, but to put it out there and go, all right, I'm going to share my personal experience with the world at 15. I don't even know what I was doing at 15. Uh, I'm surprised I lived past 15 the way I was probably doing some crazy things, but that's so impactful. And I want you to, I, kudos to you. I think it's Thank amazing you. what you've done and what you're doing. Um, and I, uh, now that we've talked, I wish I did have the microphone so you could sing. We're gonna share all of that, um, everything, and where you can download the song today. But um, any parting words for them? Anything I'm missing, Mom? Because I really want you guys to understand what she shared, what Riley is sharing. I will 100% guarantee your kids are either going through it or have experienced it from other friends. So I really, really, really want you to listen, to follow her, um, to get behind her and what, what Riley is trying to accomplish. Because we need more voices out there. You're, you're a voice for people who uh, feel like they don't have a voice. And a, a lot of times when they don't have a voice, that's when they uh, do a lot of things to themselves or other people. Uh, but they also are suffering. Yeah, the thing is that a lot of people are scared to stand up for themselves or stand up for others. They don't want to tell uh, like a, your teacher or somebody or your parent because you think that, I don't know, people like make fun of you because you're snitching or whatever. Correct. But um, I feel like that should not be the case. And actually, three million um, students in America are missing school like each month just because of bullying, because they feel uncomfortable in that environment. And a lot of kids, you think that your kids are not impacted. I, I can't stress this enough. We had the same thing, my son, Hunter, um, with some of the people that we called very, very close friends, their kids were uh, bullying him in a way that you wouldn't think because he's a giant kid, he's 6'4 now. Uh, but it impacted him and I would ask him point blank if he was being bullied or something was wrong and because of the stigma, because they're afraid of the reaction or because they think people are gonna make fun of them, they don't share it even with parents. Even if you think you are super close, you should still continue. If your child is acting in a funny way or has changed or, doesn't, or seems melancholy, uh, please continue to push them and try to get them to talk to you about it because something's going on, right? And I don't know the answer to this, but how long did it take you to talk to mom and dad? Um, well, I'm a very open person. Good. So I good, good, talked good. to my mom about everything. So that's awesome. Not very long, but a lot of people are different and I feel like that's just the best option. You need to talk to somebody. Agreed. So you're amazing. She really is. I can't make that up. I think that's so awesome what you're doing. Um, we'll post everything. Uh, thank you for being here, thank you for being brave enough to talk for the people that don't, they don't, they can't, they don't have a voice, or they feel like they don't have a voice. And so with her single and what, what Riley's doing, uh, she's trying to give a voice and trying to make sure that other kids don't feel alone. They know that there, there are options out there and there are things for them to do. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you, Julie, for bringing her. Thank you, Trevor. Uh, we love you guys. I love you guys. Happy Friday. This is all. Tell them, yes, we're, we're going to put it on there. Say, I love Trevor. I love Trevor. That's Trevor just said I love that. You, Dad. <laughs> love you. Um, so, yes, say it, and then we're going to share the link too. All right. Well, you can download my song now. It just came out today, actually. Um, on iTunes, you can search Broken by Riley Honahan, and you can also listen to it on Spotify Google and Google Play and Apple Music. It's amazing. God, again, I, what was I doing at 15? <laughs> Not this. And I think, again, I think that is such a testament to you and to your parents and your relationship 
And so I, I just think it's wonderful that you're being a voice for people. So thank you. thank you for being on. Thank you guys. We love you. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll talk to you soon. We'll post everything. Thank you for they. A lot of people made some. And we're back. Um, I wasn't finished. I don't know who that was calling. Uh, so we love you. Anyway, have a wonderful weekend. We will get back with you next week. Uh, God bless you guys, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you.